Hi, my name is Amy Giaquinto and I work with Harry Connick Jr. And what we're going to do today is we're going to go over three great core moves that you can do in the comfort of your own living room. The first one we're going to go over is what we call a cross body mountain climber. So it takes the traditional mountain climber and makes it a little bit more exciting. So what we're going to do is we're going to start off on our hands. If you're uncomfortable on your hands, you can always opt to work from your elbows. The key when we get into a plank position is to feel really strong. So we want to make sure that we're not collapsing in the shoulders. So we're going to push the floor away, getting our chest as far away from the ground as you can. Again, if your wrists are uncomfortable, please feel free to come to your elbows. And then cueing our core and our glutes, so making sure we're stiffening that core, glutes are nice and tight, we're going to draw our right knee towards our left elbow. We want to feel that right oblique, and then we're going to slide that leg back. Nice big inhale. Exhale, take the knee to the opposing elbow and bring it back. So it's all about feeling the obliques, keeping your lats engaged, your face in line with your spine, and making sure that you never start bobbing for apples. When you feel your body wanting to collapse, just sit back, take a break, and you can come back up. We're gonna go into a side plank variation. So the basic side plank you would start with, we want to make sure we master that first move first. So the basic side plank takes you from your elbow. You want to make sure your spine is in a straight line and we bring the hips forward. We can open the arm a little bit. Once we feel comfortable with the standard side plank, we can progress to what we call a staggered side plank. Once you feel good on that staggered side plank, you can then stack the legs up. From there, a really fun variation is to tie the front plank and the side plank together. Again, crawl, walk, run. We want to master that first move before we progress. But once you have those side planks and front planks down, you can come up into that staggered side plank. Top leg is forward, lat is engaged, core is tight. We want to come on up. Now from that side plank, we can come into the front plank. The shoulder and hip are connected. We take a nice big inhale, and then we rotate as one unit. Now the key is to get that left hip down, and we thread the needle. So this is what we call side plank to thread the needle. So here's our side plank. We've got to make sure we're strong in that right lat and then we slowly rotate and reach through. We do the same thing on the other side. So that's a rather advanced move, so make sure you master that side plank from the knees first, which we call that half side plank, the staggered, the stacked, and then we can progress to the side plank to the front plank. The third one we're gonna go over is really fun, called the renegade row. So not only do we take a plank, but we take a plank with what we call a rowing motion. So not only are we working on our core strength, but we also get to get some of those pulling muscles, our biceps, our lats, and our upper back. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start in that basic front plank position we've already gone over. So legs wide. The wider our legs, the more stable we are. The narrower our legs, the harder it will be. I always want to encourage people to start with those legs wide. We want to make sure our form is always strong, we're always safe. So with the hands closer together, we're going to drive our left hand into the floor, keeping your chest away from the floor, lat engaged. We're going to inhale, and then with an exhale, we're going to pull our elbow to our rib and slowly come back. So I drive my right hand down to free my left arm up. So the exciting part about this one is if you have dumbbells at home, you can put your hands right on those dumbbells and pull. And here is our renegade row. So those are three great core moves you can go over. Our first one we started with, um, where we went from the cross body mountain climber, so the knee crossing to the opposite part of your body. The second variation we went over were the side planks. We progressed half side plank. Then we went to the staggered stack. We even went to thread the needle. And then the third one we went over was the renegade row.